I am obsessed with all things geode. So when I saw geode cookies and cakes all over Pinterest, I knew I had to make an easy DIY version. That's why I came up with these slice and bake geode cookies. Keep watching to learn how to make them at home. Into a food processor, we're gonna add our flour, salt, powdered sugar, granulated sugar, baking powder, and just pulse this a few times to combine. Then we're gonna add our cold butter in batches and keep mixing until the dough is a sand-like texture. Then we're gonna add clear vanilla extract, lemon juice, and egg whites and mix until a dough forms. Remove half of the dough, mold it into a disc, and then cover with plastic wrap. Then with the remaining dough, we're going to add teal and violet gel food coloring and keep mixing until the dough is marbled and pretty. Now I'm using teal and violet food coloring because I like blue and it matches my dress. You can use any coloring you want and don't forget you can also use natural food coloring. Remove the dough, mold it into a disc, and then cover with plastic wrap. Now refrigerate both doughs for 20 minutes. Next, divide each dough in half and then we're gonna start by rolling the colored dough into a rectangle, about a quarter inch thick. Next, roll out the plain dough and then brush the colored dough with a little water to help it stick and top that with the plain dough. Roll out the rest of the colored dough and then brush the plain dough with water and top with a colored dough. Finally, we're just gonna roll the remaining plain dough into a log. Place the log in the center of the dough. Wrap with the layered dough and pinch the edges together to seal. Now, imperfections are okay. In fact, the more imperfect, the better. That's what gives the cookies their character and makes them more realistic. Cover the log with plastic wrap and refrigerate for one hour. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees and slice the dough into quarter inch cookies. Roll the edges in sanding sugar and place on a baking sheet. Add sanding sugar to the center of each cookie and press it in slightly. Now I'm just gonna keep going until I finish all the cookies. Bake these for 15 to 20 minutes or until the cookies are firm but not brown. For the glaze, we're gonna mix together a little vodka and corn syrup and brush on the tops of the cookies. Then mix a little vodka into silver luster dust and brush on the edges of the cookie to create the rock texture. How amazing do these cookies look? I mean, they're almost too perfect to eat. Yeah, right, I can't wait to try one. Mm. Oh. Mm. These cookies are so good. I really love the extra crunch you get from the standing sugar. Mm, they're so buttery, they kind of remind me of Christmas cookies. I know you guys are gonna have a blast making these cookies, and if you make them, be sure to post your photo on Instagram, hashtag eatthetrend. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.